All right, so picking up where we left off, we have two databases successfully created, but really and truly, at least right now, I only need one. So I want to remove one of these databases. So there is a command in SQL, so I'll just remove this line, or I'll just comment it out, so you can just use a double dash, right? And then what this does is render this line useless. So if you're used to other languages, like maybe C Sharp, JavaScript, you know, you have that double slash, or you have that slash and each language has its own way. So in SQL, we actually just use a double dash. All right. And once you see that line turning green, if you are using the default coloring scheme, then you know that this line is not going to have any bearing on anything once you click execute. So we can go to the next line and we will want to delete, or in this case, drop in SQL nomenclature, drop our database. Now, I want to warn you, be very, very careful and deliberate when you are going to run this and execute this command because dropping a database is an irreversible. There is no recycle bin. <laughs> there is no recovery method or there are a few, but at this stage, we're not ready for those. So be very, very careful and very, very deliberate in writing and further executing this command. So we're going to say drop database and then as we go along you start seeing that there's a pattern and notice i'm not writing it in all caps once again it is not case sensitive so drop database and then we have to specify the database name so we want to drop school underscore test so i'll just school underscore test and we see here that the editor is actually kind of picking up on what you may want to do. So it's kind of completing what it is that it thinks you want to do based on the information it has available to you. So it makes it pretty easy to write complex statements in a very short while. So we want to drop the database called school underscore test. And then I'm going to execute that. Once again, be very deliberate and careful when doing this because SQL will not ask you if you're sure you want to delete this item. All right, SQL is just going to say, the, sorry, SQL Management Studio is just going to say, this is the command I got, I'm going to execute it. So when I click execute, there we go. But we still see the database listed here. So as usual, we just click here and refresh. And then we see that there is no longer any trace of school underscore test. And if I attempt to execute this again, then I will get an error saying that I cannot drop it because it does not exist or you don't have permission. We know we have permission. We know we just did it. So we know that it's because it does not exist in the same way. And a quick way to comment in SQL Management Studio is to press down Control K and C. As a matter of fact, in the class notes, I have a bunch of keyboard shortcuts that can help you get along quickly and move along in the editor with, with minimal effort. All right, I love keyboard shortcuts. So we can say create database and I will try to create school. Well, we know we already have school, so I just want to show you the type of error that you would see. And then it says database school already exists please choose a different name. So we can't have two databases with the same name. If you need two identically named ones, you know, you can use your underscore or you can add a number. Numbers are acceptable. Um, of course, the character sets, there are strict rules around it, but we, we have infinitely many characters at our disposal. So we can always mix and match and be unique. All right, so that was how we go about removing a database. Next, we'll look at how we go about creating what we call tables in our database.